Hey guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Wale and um, Zamo, 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 Zamo and Wale. We have love, compassion here. Okay. What else do we have here for energy? Instinct. Okay. Wolf. Instinct. Okay. And the bottom of the deck is mountain and strength. Okay. So these two have a lot of strength. Um, hmm. I don't know what I'm picking up on here. Let's just keep going. What are their fears here? Oh, okay. Thank you. That's too many, but we have the sun in reverse. So somebody may be unhappy in this love here. What is the instinct here for the other person? We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. So I'm kind of feeling this may be facing some fears here about someone being unhappy. Possibly to do with the future. Okay, so. And then we have no passion. This is was in reverse here. So, hmm. Maybe passion is somebody's facing that there may not be enough passion here. Somebody's unhappy about this love connection here. What do they think? Hmm, three of Pentacles, so that this is somebody, a team player or a teammate here. What about the other person? Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. The card that was on the floor was the moon, and it's in the upright, so there may be some secrets, and that could be why somebody needs to face some fears here about their teammates that's unhappy, that maybe there's not enough passion between the two with the Ace of Wands in, <clears throat> in reverse. So this may be a delay or some kind of um, lack of direction or I kind of feel like, hmm. let's continue. What are they feeling? Okay, they're both in reverse, but we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Two of Swords in reverse. So I'm feeling that this Knight of Pentacles, or not Knight of Pentacles, Knight of, yeah, Knight of Pentacles <laughs> in reverse is somebody that's maybe pessimistic about this relationship. And the Two of Swords in reverse, this is kind of um, something about anxiety and some type of truth being revealed with these secrets here. So what's the past intuition that they had? We have the Nine of Cups. So their past intuition was telling them that they were very happy with this person. What about the other person? What about the other person here? has a secret. So yeah, the Ten of Cups in reverse. Mm. <laughs> Yikes. I feel like they feel that hmm, this person's going to dump out all the cups when they find out about the secret. So this past intuition was telling them that they needed to oh, I got all these cards coming up. Okay. Um <laughs> We're going to take them anyways. So we have here the five of wands in reverse. So somebody wanting to reconcile, but somebody didn't learn um, some lessons here. So there may have been some lessons that needed to be had here. Uh, yeah, the seven of swords in reverse, which is a reconciliation again. And the other person was the queen of pentacles in reverse. So maybe some unhealthy behaviors here. We have somebody feels like they're having bad luck with this person or they're receiving some type of um, 
I want to say karmic debt, but it could be a delay or some bad luck or repeating a cycle here. Um, it may be because somebody's hanging on to somebody here and they're not letting them go. Maybe they haven't clear, um, cut or deleted some type of energy bond here. We have somebody waiting here for something to happen. What is that? This has to do with not seeing something coming here. So the external force was something to do with greed here and somebody feeling like they're having bad luck here. Okay, so somebody's waiting for um, something of a star here or a hopeful, a blessing, there may be healing or waiting for someone to heal. What is the outcome here? Temperance. Um, and that, I think, was in reverse. So somebody's not wanting to wait here for something here. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> okay, and this is the King of Wands in reverse. So this is somebody that is kind of maybe has obstacles maybe is playing things on the side you know with that um pleasure um kind of energy that swagger <laughs> i want to get that song um moves like jagger <laughs> that's kind of what i'm feeling right now is that Ooh, it was like Jagger. Yeah, and it's do do do. Yeah, so I'm kind of really feeling this person maybe playing the field a bit. Um, they may not be together at this point. Somebody's refusing to learn a lesson. Somebody really, really, really wants to reconcile with this person. But somebody doesn't feel like they're getting a lot of luck with that somebody may be holding on to somebody here anyways and not wanting to let them go kind of getting impatient about this person not healing or needing them to heal before they can come back in maybe tell them the truth about this yeah well somebody's an empress here so i'm kind of feeling that could be Zoho, not Zoho, that's not how you pronounce it, um, Zamo, Zamo, I feel like that Zamo is the empress here, she's waiting for, um, Wale, Wale to, who is the king of swords in reverse, so you may be, you know, dealing with other people um, because of this breakup. He may not feel there's enough passion between them. He may know he has to come forward and speak a truth about these secrets. <laughs> Are these guys actors? Because I'm really feeling like this is... Um, Like a drama or <laughs> I don't know what this is like it's some type of love story I don't know what this is and maybe you guys know but there's a lot of strength here they can climb the mountain there's love and compassion somebody's using their instincts here somebody's not learning something here It's like a drama, like so much drama here. Could be some type of codependency that's going on here. And so maybe this king of wands, well, he's very good looking if he's a king of wands. So he may be very sought after, like people, a lot of people may like him and his energy and he knows it he knows he's good looking and there may not have been enough boundaries here especially if this person's still hanging on to their energy 
they may just feel like they're having bad luck with this person but the other feels like there's not enough passion to keep them there or they're too fearful about having to speak some type of truth here they may feel like there's some team teammate here though this is this is kind of weird energy I'm picking up on because I'm getting this one situation where it's this like love drama story and then I'm feeling a whole different scenario like like they're acting apart for one part and then they have a whole nother whole nother situation of their own energy I don't, I don't know what this is this is so crazy um <laughs> It's a little confusing here. It's almost like shape shifting energy or Yeah, this is kind of bizarro cuz I'm kind of feeling two like four people here but they're the same people. They're they got to be actors here. This has got to be some type of I don't know what this is <laughs> to tell you the truth. I just know it's kind of bizarro and the feeling I'm getting and what I'm picking up on here. Anyways, let's continue on here and see what we have for some of our cards here. I want to go in with this one first and I'll do the other one after. Okay, so what's the combined energy between these two? <laughs> Look at that. What did I get? Three cards. <laughs> like there's a bunch of, di yeah, I'm still getting a whole bunch of cards together. It's, what's their combined energy here? <laughs> this is weird. All right. Oh, <laughs> okay. So that was this way. So this is, uh, yeah. Okay. So with the fears here, there's a lot of different options here. Adjacent possibilities with all these doors that are open, um, different opportunities. One's unhappy, one has loss of passion and fear of a truth being known. So possibly stepping into some of those other doors, <laughs> if you get what I mean. <laughs> What's the combination here? All right. We have the magician in the mirror and the goddess of the moon. Okay, so I'm feeling like <laughs> somebody's manifesting their teammate here. The other one is has secrets and that is that goddess of the moon energy. So somebody's keeping secrets from a goddess here or a feminine energy. Even though it's the goddess of the moon, I feel like it's a masculine that's holding the secrets from the feminine. Okay, let's see here. Well, how do they feel? What's the combined energy between them? Victory, you know, I don't know how that came out now. <laughs> I'd have to go back and see. I'm gonna take a new one. All right. What is the combined feeling they feel between the two? What's the combined feeling between the two? Mm, that way. All right, second chakra, which is solar plex chakra. So you have the root, solar plex, heart, throat, third eye, and then the crown. So the second chakra is the solar plex, which is intuition. So somebody needs to use their intuition. I, I don't know if they're really using their intuition. What's their past intuition telling them? Somebody's intuition. I feel like this is this. I almost feel like it's the masculine that has the intuition here. Wow. Yeah, throat chakra and <laughs> walking away. He's not wanting to t say some truth here. 
and he's walking away instead because he's fearful of how this person's going to react yeah because she's an angel of love and he knows that she's in love with him she's the empress oh boy and i feel like she's learning a lesson here to bump her up to the next level um by maybe not waiting being impatient about this masculine <laughs> all right what do we have here for the near future intuition what's coming up for their intuition in the future strategy okay so somebody's going to <laughs> try to get some type of strategy going here and it is one right wanting to reconcile and the other one not learning the lesson and somebody between these two they're going to strategize about each other <laughs> possibly here um a journaling maybe they're journaling um and that's becoming their manifestation it could be this feminine that is the magician here oh okay so we have this reconciliation here and this is lessons learned and somebody's realizing here with the queen of pentacles in reverse somebody's having unhealthy behaviors here and i feel like the other one it wants to reconcile regardless of this um yeah the garden and the gate she does not want him to see the greener pastures beyond the gate <laughs> right and we have the external influences could be someone hanging on to him which could be this um, person that wants to reconcile and they just feel like they're having bad luck and they're feeling like their crown chakra may be closed um, and they're not getting the messages they're meant to get about this person they're having to use their own intuition I feel like they're meant to it's kind of like a test I'm almost feeling like a test okay and somebody's waiting and they're looking in this picture at this shooting star and i feel like this other person with the star card here um there's blessings going to come to this person if they use their third eye which is their intuition and their clear knowing that knowing um and seeing what they need to see here and i feel like this person might be in order to get these blessings what is yeah yeah it may have to do about money here this was on the fence though it's possible this masculine has money and <laughs> that victory card came back out and it was in the upright here so but it is the number 10 and that is somebody that is closing out a cycle and I feel like somebody is realizing here somebody had a strategy here maybe to get some money um, maybe it was to do with this codependency on about this masculine's money and that could be why he wanted to walk away somebody's getting a victory in any case somebody's seeing something they're not supposed or that they're meant to see there is some secret here that somebody did not want to voice and they walked away instead from this love so and this empress and a caring connection so this could have been a whole lot for this person had they chose to do the right thing here let's see <laughs> yeah this the bottom of the deck was the challenge and it had to do with this caring connection to do with this empress now that empress could have been the masculine or it could have been the feminine because we all have masculine and feminine energies within each of us so let's see what are we getting for these two simplicity okay and enlightenment so this could actually be very simple in the fact that somebody's going to have some type of victory here but it's going to um have this other person go through an enlightenment here because 
of not coming forward. They're going, it's going to boost them to be enlightened and therefore becoming this empress. So whether it's the feminine or the masculine here, um, whether it is Wale or Zamo, they, there's a victory here for one of them. Maybe the strategy worked out in the end. Yeah, somebody got enlightenment and wisdom from something here, going through this situation here, walking away from somebody here. And it, it's possibly the feminine walked away from the masculine, but I feel like it's more the feminine that wanted the reconciliation and the masculine wanted to go out and play. Purification. So somebody's simplifying, purifying, happiness, and having that potential for happiness. And that's the thing. Um, a lot of feminines will see potential in a masculine, um, but it's you have to be careful with that because you need to see what is, not what could be, because you could be waiting for that what could be for a lot of years to come that may never happen, okay? So it's more important to concentrate on what actually is and not what could be in the future. It's better to see what is right in front of you right now and if that is the energy that you want to connect with. It's not what they could be because they may not even see that potential in themselves and therefore it may never come, right? So let's see what else do we have here for Samo and Wale. Love, potential love coming back over. Something has to purify here. There's enlightenment and wisdom. Oh, <laughs> yeah, somebody was looking for security. One was looking for freedom. And they could thrive between the two of them with this love if they just can get it together here. There could be a lot of happiness here. It doesn't have to be that hard with this simplicity here. It doesn't have to be so tough. They're making it tougher than it needs to be. Leadership. So somebody that needs to be leading maybe isn't leading. Or somebody's going to step into that leadership here. Somebody's getting that victory here when it comes to happiness. So something might be coming in. Could be that they grow up a bit and um, do some healing here. What do we have? Ooh. Ah, flexibility. So somebody needs to be a little more flex flexible. Maybe not be so um, set in their ways. Yeah, there's success here. What's that? Abundance. So somebody's very abundant here. And inner peace. So I feel like it's not as hard as somebody's making it to be. Somebody gets enlightened and gains that wisdom. Maybe they purify their energy which brings them a lot of happiness. There's a lot of potential when it comes to love, but somebody needs to be the leader in this dynamic here. Somebody's not as flexible as they could be, which if they were a little more flexible, there could be a lot of success here and abundance between the two. And that inner peace where there isn't that anxiety about a secret if they were just open up and speak the truth and learn from that. Yeah, somebody needed to take some action here and they didn't. They ran away instead. They ran away from the love, this angel of love and this caring connection because they were afraid of what would happen with these secrets. So 
maybe running away first because they know they're going to hurt this person and then this person may end up telling them well I don't want to reconcile afterwards and that could hurt the person that is supposed to speak this truth and they're not willing to take that risk or that action somebody gets a victory though because they're learning something and becoming this empress so and I feel like it's this angel of love who really does know that love is the highest frequency um I feel like she really does love this person hmm but as it sits right now, they're going through some turbulence here. And this King of Wands is kind of playing the field because they're not together. But there may be an offer later down the road, but there's somebody that has to take the action to speak some truth here. So anyways, that's what I have for this reading. Um, Earlier it was still, I still feel like there's, this is some type of drama of some sort. Um, maybe they are actors, I don't know, but I'm getting something here that there's like four people, but there's still only two people, which makes no sense um, other than that they're playing someone else as someone else. <laughs> um, and then they have their own life. Um, that's the only way I can really that I'm picking up on this, so, yeah, <laughs> anyways, please like, share, and subscribe, give me that thumbs up if you like my readings, thank you all for supporting the channel with donations, and um, watching the content, that really helps the channel as well, so, in any case, take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you guys next time, all right, later!